Hello and welcome to the part 3 of surfacing in FreeCAD tutorials. Today we're going to have a look at making this kettle handle purely out of surfaces. Okay, let's get started. So here's our kettle. I've already sketched out what I imagine the handle could be. This is a simple closed sketch and, and I've padded it so that we have a base and a rough idea of what we're working on. I'm going to delete the kettle so it doesn't take any resources and delete that as well I'm going to start by creating a new body in part design and I'm going to call it utilities this is going to serve us as a place to keep our sketches planes and other things that we might need along the way so I already know what I want the handle to look like, I can start by dividing up this um, solid body. Let's jump to the curves workbench and select the faces that we are going to use in our surface design. Let's use the extract subshape tool to get all the faces separately. And now we can hide our solid body. Let's start by creating a sketch that we will use as a splitting tool for our faces. I know that I'm going to need this line. I'm going to need to separate these flat faces so we can join them later into a curve. I'm going to need to split this handle lengthwise and I might need a line at this intersection. Let's make sure everything is parallel. Okay, I'm going to hide my utilities for now and I'm going to start at the bottom. Let's start by making a blend curve. Set that to auto scale. Set that to G4. Repeat the same for the other side. And since it's freeform, I'm going to set the parameters to what I think looks right. Right there. Okay, now let's switch to bottom view. Select the face and the curve we just made and click on the split tool. Quick info on the trim surface tool. The tool will trim the side of the face that is not selected by your mouse. So if I want to keep this part of the face, I will select it select the curve and press trim. However, we want to keep this part of the face. So I'll select this part, select the curve and press trim. Okay, now this gives us an idea where we can split the rest of the faces. Let's start with this one. I'm going to select it, go to our part design workbench, create a shape binder and create a new sketch on this face. Let's include this arc and draw a straight line across the whole shape. Okay, let's split some faces. Face one, face two, and our tool. I mentioned that the trim face tool will take into account your current viewport view angle for the split operation. So if we click it now, we've split the face at this angle that we were looking at. But what we actually want to do is split it from the front. 
Now we can start splitting the rest of the shape. Let's start with these. Tools, trim. Let's do the same for the back. That and that. I'm not going to need any of these. I'm going to trim the back of this as well. Okay, so now we have a bunch of faces that look like a mess, but really isn't. We can use a couple of new tools to help us out designing this, um, this curve. First, let's give our line tool a go. Select two vertices and click on the line tool. We can now make another blend curve. just to help us visualize where we want to split this flat face. That looks smooth. Now let's temporarily hide this face. Let's select this vertex, that vertex, and use the line tool again. Let's hide this and create another line. Now I know that I want this part of the handle flat. So the easiest way to do it is select two edges, jump to the part workbench and use the ruled surface tool. Now the next step would be to blend these two faces. We can do that with the blend surface tool. I'm going to hide these helpers, edge one. Phase one, edge two, phase two. Look at that, that's very nice. Let's make sure it's G4. Minimize curvature. Let's continue blending. We can select these two blends, change the continuity to four, or scale to minimize curvature. And that's, that's great. Let's jump back to our utilities, split this face once again. I'm going to draw a straight line. And I can create a ruled surface right here. Let's jump back to part design. Let's make another datum shape. I'll make that visible. Create a new sketch. Project this and maybe this line as well. Make that parallel. Now I want to split that line at this point. So let's use the split curve tool and use that line as a cutting object. Okay. make that value at 100%, oh, that's a thousand, 100%, and 
and we just split that line. Let's make another ruled surface here. Now we're going to fill this gap in. Jump to surface workbench and start selecting edges in order. Sometimes the surface won't appear and I think this is a bug in, in the current version of FreeCAD. If you hover over it, you'll see that the surface is there. So what you need to do is save your work, close it, and reopen it. Yep, it's here. Okay, let's open that surface and let's finish making that patch uh, tangent to all these spaces. Good curve, we don't need that. When you double click on an edge, you will highlight in the viewport and the spaces drop down allows you to pick the face you want this shape to be continuous to. Okay. Let's zebra. Zebra looks, looks awesome. Now what we have to do is fill in the rest of the shape. Let's use a ruled surface for this part and a ruled surface for that part. Now what I want to do is make this edge nice and round. We could use a fillet tool, but we're working with surfaces, so that's not available for us. And as you know, a fillet is a G1 continuity, which isn't perfect. Well, not for us, right? Okay, let's activate our utilities body, make it visible, create a new sketch, draw a big line, project anything on the edge, and make that line three meter, three millimeters. Now select a bunch of these edges. Jump to our curves workbench. Whoa, I forgot to change the camera. Two, three, four, five. Nice, let's do that for the front as well. millimeters for this as well. Okay. Start selecting faces. Select the tool. Face tool. Let's hide our utilities and make a nice blend curve here. Auto G4 G4 Change the parameters so it starts at the edge Use that curve to trim this face Now blend away got an error. That means we'll need to do it manually. Let's delete that. One edge, actually, let's hide that. Let's use a blend curve to blend this. Okay, there's something funky going on here. So I'm going to remove that. Let's create another blend curve here. Let's 
let's use boundary fill. Let's hide these open curves. Let's make a new surface. Okay, last one. Okay, great. Now we don't really need all these faces, so I'm going to hide them one by one. Jump to the part workbench, select all these surfaces. And let's mirror them. Now we can fill these gaps with either ruled surface or boundary fill or blend curve. It doesn't matter because what I want for this design is to join these two edges with a flat plane. But if I wanted uh, to make a hump of sorts, I'll probably select these two vertices and use a freehand B spline tool. Now we have a straight line. We select this line and press I on our keyboard, it will add a vertex. We can use that vertex to make a curve. Or if we wanted something more complex, we could create a, a B spline on any point of our surface. So let's say I wanted to start the B spline somewhere here. Click on this edge and select the B spline tool and it will create the B-spline exactly where I clicked. So now we can edit this and start shaping our curves. But I don't want that. I want a simple flat face. Okay, we have our shell. Now all we have to do to turn this into a solid is to cap these ends. We can use a boundary fill for that. Now let's start selecting faces. and use the solid tool. Okay, fingers crossed. Excellent, we have a solid. Now we can hide everything. And let's move to part design. Let's create a new body. Select the solid that we've just created and let's make a shape binder. Select the shape binder and use the boolean tool. And now we have a solid. We can drill a hole to make sure everything is okay. Brilliant. Okay, that is it for the surfacing in FreeCAD series. I hope that you will join me in my next adventure. Whatever that might be, don't miss out. Click the subscribe button and come along for my next experiment. Thank you and I'll see you soon. Bye.